Hello, welcome to this class where we are looking at navigating the map canvas. And in navigating the map canvas, we will look at panning, we'll look at zooming, and then we'll also look at the scale. So what is panning? Panning is basically moving your map like this. Moving your map, then zooming, it's basically seeing it at different scale different scales yeah. so what is scale scale basically is um, how many times smaller it appears from in relative to the actual feature on the ground so when we look at this scale here maybe let's select this is 2050 so this is how many times smaller. So this is 2,000, 250,000 smaller than the actual one on the, on the ground. That's what the scale really is. So you pan when the Kesa gives you that arms, arm, like a hand sign that you are seeing, to zoom in, uh, like this, I'm using the mouse with a scroll bar, which is quite handy. Almost all GIS specialists work with a scroll bar. It's, it's quite handy than the mouse on the laptop. So if you don't have the mouse, this is why there is a, under this toolbar for what is this two bar code? So when I move it, these are the functions that it has, as you can see. So how you move, when you move the case, it gives you that uh, cross kind of, then it means you can left click and move your two bar to anywhere you, you want. So um, let's start with the zooming in. So the plus sign is for zooming in. So as you can see, the case has changed to plus. This means I can draw a rectangle and it will zoom in to the area of that rectangle that I have drawn, like that. Zooming out, I can click there, then left click, draw a rectangle again, then it zooms out. I can do small and it zooms out. That is for left clicking. This is pan map to selection. So when you do a select operation on a particular feature, then you click here, it will go, it will go there. We have zoom to layer, let's say, um, um, let me do this. Let me pan, then let me click there. Then let me say, zoom to layer. There you go. So this is the same as right clicking and zooming to layer let me do this zoom to layer zoom to layer so it's one and the the same thing so this is basically about zooming and panning why is it very important fundamentally it's important because um, every time you add new data for example in a previous lecture, we had deleted some data. Let me re add that data under Zambia. Um, let me just add, uh, when I open like this, let me add health facilities. So when I add the health facilities, I go on the layers. They are the health facilities. Let me take them on top. Let me right click, zoom to layer. So as you can see, when I zoom in, let's say Lusaka my my city when i zoom into lusaka as you can see i can go to a particular point so it, it helps you to just visualize with immediate inspection to see whether that data is speaking to you correctly because there are a number of things that could go wrong maybe the data has got a different uh, coordinate system with a with the setup for QGIS or vice versa, quite a number of things. So it helps to just visualize your 
your data at a glance before you begin to work with it. And even when you start working with your data, it also comes in handy now to begin uh, working with your particular data of interest. So this is about uh, this lecture. Thank you so much. And before I close, as you can see, the name of the project here, it says Untitled Project. This means that if I to delete this, it will not be uh, recovered. So for in order for me to recover it, I have to go on Project, then Save As. Oh, there's a shortcut there, Control Shift S. It will open Save As. Then it will ask me where I want to save this particular QJS file. So I can save it in Excise Data. Let me just name it as beginners, beginner, beginner level course. Beginner level course. I hope I spelled beginner correctly. That uh, doesn't make sense. Beginner, I hope I've spelled it correctly. Yeah, feels like it's correct. Beginner level course, then save. So this case now, it means even if, I close this and open it. I'll return these layers which have been which have been added. And when I hover my mouse, it gives me the details. This is basically the path where the shape file has been saved. It even tells me it's a it's a shape file. So this is about this course. See you in the next class.